Hi guys, uh, I showed you this in one of my charity shop gold or garbage videos where we went out to Thornbury and at Thornbury there's also the recycling centre where I go to there uh, they have a sort of a shop there where they sell stuff that's too good to be uh, crushed up in the recycling. Now I picked this up with something else and I spent a pound in total so this has probably cost me 50 pence. In the uh, recite, uh, in the charity shop gold or garbage video I've already taken the screws out of it so we can have a look inside. It's got four buttons on the top here. It's got his eyes move manually and when we have a look inside nearly all of the wires have corroded and come off. So whether those switches or push buttons work at all we don't know. Whether the sound effect board works we don't know. I bought it because I thought at the very least I could use the body shell for something, although even the body shell is in pretty poor condition. It's got a crack there, split there. But it might be fun. So what I'm going to do today is see if there's any way of actually guessing which one is which and soldering them together. I think we're pretty safe guessing that those brown wires are for the speaker. Then on that black wire, which is disconnected at both ends, will be the negative from the battery. And there's a red wire I think I spotted somewhere. Did I spot a red one? Maybe not. The red one goes up there. There's an LED there. And one of those other ones is probably the power. Could even be that. Could be the orange or the blue. Uh, blue, purple. And we've got three disconnected there. Uh, no, I reckon that. I don't know. I don't know. There's all sorts of odd. Wires missing. There's a button there that's got no wires on it. Right, anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can guess my way through, get it linked up, and see if we can get some sounds out of it. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this. So I'll have a little think. I think the safest thing to do will be to, well, we've definitely got to unscrew that circuit board to have a look at it. Probably need to undo these as well, just so we can lift it all out together. But even then, uh, I'll have to undo that as well, just so we can lift the electronics out. Otherwise we can't get them out.
them. I don't know whether I remember, but green and blue are that way, and grey is this way. And there appears to be no wires to go onto there. Which is odd. work with this. So on the back of here we have a black blob. It's a little bit dusty and horrible. I think I'll give that little bit of a wipe with an oily rag or something just to clean it up so we can see what we've got. Clearly, let's zoom in a bit. Right, it's so clearly a couple of wires have come off just here. Ground, oh, you probably can't see that. These will probably all fall off when I start moving around. But we've got ground or GMD off speaker speaker. I'm guessing. Well, certainly the black is the ground. Wouldn't surprise me if that orange is off and goes to, or did go to there. Black to there, probably orange to there, probably. But then we got purple. That says VDD on there. Ground off VDD. Could we have had two wires on there? Just looking at length. They do look like they might have done that, don't they? Oh, you can't see what I'm talking about. Oh. Looking at the lengths of the wires, black over to there, and that orange and purple could have been there. Putting it in shadow, aren't I? Let's try that again. Looking at the lengths of the wire, I'm confident the black would go over to the battery terminal there. And I reckon this orange and purple probably went on there. That's the on-off switch. 
which would mean they would have come onto the circuit board and got ground off and VDD over here. That could have gone, gone over there quite easily. That looks like it naturally falls about there. And then the, could the blue and the purple have gone? Purple to the off position and black to the ground. Just going by the length of the wires, that's what I reckon. Black ground, purple off, orange VDD, and on the switch, yeah, I reckon that would mean the middle would be. Middle would be the VDD, as they called it there. So when that that's the battery coming in, that would make connection to the middle one when you switch it. When you switch it the other way, I reckon that's the off one as they call it. And I think that's for discharging whatever's left in there. I think. All right, the solder and iron switched on and we'll see what we can do. Well, I didn't video me trying to get all those wires back in place because when you've got old wires like these that are corroded, they're a real pain. You have to strip them back to get to the clean wire and all of this needed to be cleaned. I even had to use my old solder sucker to clean out the holes and um, soldering paste. But... Um, we appear to be short of a couple of wires that should be going to that switch, but I can demonstrate everything else, I think. Uh, let's use that to push the button. switch I tra traced it out it would be uh, across here so I'll get a couple of extra bits of wire to replace the ones that are missing and uh, yeah, it looks like we've got all the sound effects working. Right, those yellow and orange wires I've just added to replace the ones that were missing. Queen. <laughs> 
So, success. We'll put it back together. It'd be fun to find out a way of making use of that in a different car. Now you need something that's going to give you a short circuit at each of those points. It's a common rail there that goes around. VDD. So you could apply voltage to each of those contacts. with myself and put that back together and then eventually I might do something totally diff with, different with it but just getting it working was good enough for now all back together I still work okay so what have we got uh, Start the motor. Uh, tire squeal. Seems to be a sequence to do them in. That one. Considering the state it's in, <laughs> to actually get it, get the sound effects working again, uh, again, let's do that again. <clears throat> Considering the state it's in, all the cracks and that, I think getting the sound effects working again is quite an achievement. I'm pleased with myself. If you've ever tried doing anything like this yourself, you will know that when you've got old wires that are corroded like that, they can be a real pain to actually try and re-solder them. I actually had to replace quite a few because I just couldn't solder the old wires. Uh, but that's it, yeah. On off works. Which was a surprise because it looks like everything's got damp. Uh, the battery terminals were fine, they work. We haven't got a cover, minor detail. And I do like the sound, it sounds really good in the body there. It's got quite a deep tone to it.
So yeah, all back together and working. Bear in mind, I really picked it up just to see if I could use the body shell. So um, yeah, 50 pence that cost me. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.